Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and you're going to love this experiment. Fireworks in a jar. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need is a jar or a vase, food coloring, vegetable oil, and a tablespoon. First, start off by putting four tablespoons of uh, oil into your bowl. Uh, I use canola oil, but you could use vegetable oil. Then take your food coloring and put about uh, three to four drops um, of each color into the oil. And then from there, we're going to uh, mix that up with a fork lightly. Uh, bring your fork back and forth uh, until it becomes a lot smaller uh, droplets. And then we're going to pour it into the jar. Fill your jar three quarters full of warm water and pour your oil and food coloring in. Oil and water don't mix because of how their molecules are constructed. Water is known as a polar molecule, where vegetable oil, on the other hand, is a nonpolar molecule. And you'll notice the food coloring only mixes with the water. And now you know why. Food coloring is a polar molecule because it dissolves in the water. In other words, food coloring and water are miscible. Oil is not affected by the food coloring because they are polar opposites. Oil is less dense than water and it will float on the top. The food coloring droplets will sink because they are heavier than the oil. Once they sink into the water, they will explode, hence the name Fireworks in a Jar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks.